my name is Archbishop Tabo Malkoba. Welcome to Bishop Scott Garden. God of timeless grace, you fill us with joyful expectation. Make us ready for the message that prepares the way so that with uprightness of heart and holy joy, we may eagerly await the kingdom of your son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. It's a portion of Psalm 103. <laughs> Listen to the good news proclaimed in the gospel according to St. Matthew, the 11th chapter, beginning from the 28th verse. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Today is an ember day when we pray for the vocations to the ordained ministry, theological colleges, and all those already serving in the ordained ministry. I particularly want to pray for the College of the Transfiguration as we look into 2021 in the context of uh, COVID-19 and the lockdown and all the internet and distance learning that is happening. I pray that we will find a way of not shutting down nor suspending anything, but continuing to offer formation in whatever way we can during this particular time. So residential theological education has been going through especially hard times recently with colleges even in the relatively well-resourced uh, Episcopal Church in the United States having to merge. Please, as I say, pray not only for vocation, but for those who have to make recommendations for a sustainable future for a court uh, in South Africa, but not only for court, but for theological formation 
in the Anglican Church of Southern Africa. At a time when we are seeing a surge in COVID-19 infections, especially in the Eastern Cape, and when new measures are being taken to combat its spread, today's readings are assuring us of God's mercy and support for us are timeless and appropriate. Jesus extends an invitation to those carrying heavy burdens to receive rest from him, whether the burdens are those imposed from outside, such as the pandemic, or the burdens of our own sin, confusion, and uncertainty. Taking up his offer and coming to Christ involves putting our trust in him and in the message he brings. His promise is that salvation is free. We do not merit it. Rather, it is a gift from Jesus. Friends, Jesus assures us of rest for our souls in the changing seasons of our lives. No matter how much is going on in your lives, how many tasks you have before you, fix your eyes on Jesus. Do the work. He will give you rest. May we all be blessed. And may we all bless the Lord.